here's an example where it's still probably t asked of us to simplify this expression and we have to observe that we have several terms all separated by adds and subtracts we've got four terms in this expression so simplify means are each of our radicals simplified but also we might have some like terms to combine so when it comes to radicals the idea of like terms is very similar to just working with polynomials with variables so if I write an expression like 4x plus 3y plus x minus 7y and the reason I wrote this expression is because we know that these are like terms because they have the same variable and these are like terms because they both have the same radicand. They're both a radical 2. So it makes these two like terms and it makes these two like terms. So if I think about what I, what I know about if it was a, a variable in that place, I'd know that they are like terms. So if I see the same radical, I'm thinking they're like terms. And also, what do I know about combining like terms? Once I know that 4x and this positive x are like terms, I know that I add the coefficients. I know that if I don't see a number out front that there's a 1. So same with this guy, I don't see a coefficient, I know it's a 1. When I go to combine these like terms, 4x plus 1x, I'm not going to change the x. I'll just add the number parts, 4 plus 1 will give me 5. And then I'll move to the terms with the y's, the other pair of like terms positive 3y and a negative 7y. If I see that minus and just think of it as a negative sign on the term that's right behind it, then I will always just add the coefficients. So I see a negative 7 and I say 3 plus negative 7 is a negative 4. They were like terms that had a y, so that 4 needs the same y. So knowing that this polynomial, I would simplify and combine like terms to equal 5x minus 4y, what are you seeing about our initial problem with these radicals? We are going to identify the same like terms. How about some matching color schemes? So the 4 radical 2 and this positive 1 radical 2 can be combined to make 5 radical 2. And then we have a 3 radical 5 with negative 7 radical 5. Those are like terms would equal negative 4 radical 5. So when we combine like terms, we add the number parts. Those guys, we added those number parts but didn't change the variable. x, x, it's the same x. And y, y, 1, y. Same idea is at work here. Radical 2 with radical 2 stays a radical 2. We haven't doubled anything up, we're just adding these terms, so we're adding the coefficients. And same with these radical 5 terms. So there's our simplified radical expression, 5 radical 2 minus 4 radical 5. And you may start think, thinking to yourself, well how do I know when I'm, that this problem is finished? And two things you should think about to answer this question about am I finished? You want to make sure that all radicals are simplified and you want to see that there are no like radicals that you could combine. So I know that I'm not finding any pairs of factors inside of a 2 that I could bring out of a radical to simplify that. Same thing with a 5. So I don't have like terms that I could combine, and both radicals are simplified, so I must be finished. Here's our next example of a radical expression to simplify. First, we want to simplify each individual radical. You might look at this and see that we don't have like terms to add or subtract. And I would say your first thought should be, looking at these radicals individually to see what we could simplify. So let's do that just one at a time. I'll keep the 12 out front. I definitely don't want to lose track of that. But I'll make some space, a larger radical, to write this expression, 18x squared, uh, a little bit expanded. So 18, a factor tree there. Let's go off into the margin. 18 is 2 times 9. And that 9 is 
3 times 3. Again, you're maybe spotting a shortcut. As soon as I see that I have a 9 there, I know I'll be bringing a 3 out of the radical, but to see shortcuts is not required for doing these problems accurately. Just go for 2 times 3 times 3. And I have a pair of x's. That's not too much writing, so I'll just double those up, x times x. Okay, now I'm looking for what pairs of factors do I have inside the radical. I have a pair of 3's, so I'll be bringing out a 3, and a pair of x's, so I'll be bringing out 1x. All the factors that are outside of the radical need to be multiplied together, so it's 12 times 3 times x, 36x. And we did have a factor left inside the 2, so it's 36x radical 2. Let's go for our second radical. It was What I'm going to do is I see a minus, I'll attach it to the coefficient. That what I have out in front of, I guess it's not technically, it's, well, you could say coefficient. So we'll make it negative 4. There's the coefficient. There's the x. There's our radical for 8. So prime factors, it's 2 times 2 times 2. I do have a pair of 2's in there that I can bring out 1, 2. I'm going to be multiplying this one times 2. And I have 1, 2 that needs to stay inside the radical. So this negative 4x times 2, negative 8x with radical 2. And finally, it's positive 10 with radical 50x. So the 50, how about a tree? Well, let's just go back to the margin here. 50. 2 times 25, and that's 5 times 5. 2 times 5 times 5. with 1x. Okay. Looking for pairs, and I do have that pair of 5's. Bring out 1, 5 to multiply to that 10 that's already out front. So we would have a positive 50. And a couple of factors that need to stay inside the radical, 2 and x. Okay, so our first part was looking at these radicals individually. Now that we have each one simplified, do we have any like terms that we can combine? And we have three terms, and two of them can be combined because they both have radical 2. This third one, which has a radical 2x, is a different term, so it just cannot be combined. You can combine the first two, and you say to yourself, I know that when I combine like terms, I'll keep a radical 2. And I need to add the terms that we have in front or out in front of the radical. So it's a 36x with a negative 8x. And just back to combining like terms. Can I do 36x minus 8x? Sure. 28x with radical 2. This term that was not like because in the radical it had a 2x just tags along. There's our final answer. It's all simplified.